Air pollution. When we hear this word, we tend to think of cities covered in smog, poisonous exhaust fumes and the consequences for our health. The fine particles and gases do not only make people ill, they also influence the chemical and physical processes in the atmosphere, such as the formation of clouds. Sources of air pollution are not limited to traffic and industry. Burning biomass, too, results in a large quantity of polluted air. To research how biomass burning in Africa impacts the Earth's atmosphere, a group of scientists took their highly sensitive measurement equipment and traveled from Germany to the Cape Verde Islands, downwind of Central Africa. For four weeks, the Atlantic island of Sel was home to around 40 researchers. One of them was Ivan from Mainz. Although Sel attracts tourists, the 26-year-old scientist did not spend his time on the beach. His workplace was the hangar of the local airport, as well as an aircraft. His measuring device was part of a comprehensive payload that was mounted in the research aircraft Halo. The project is about, the project is called CAFE. It's part of my PhD thesis where um, we are quantifying trace gases and particle particle distributions in the troposphere, upper troposphere, lower stratosphere with a set of 20 instruments aboard and what I'm doing is I'm supervising NOx measurements. NOx is NO and NO2 on board this, this HALO aircraft to, yeah, to, quantify, to quantify biomass burning effects in the upper troposphere, lower stratosphere um, to, yeah, to also to, to tune model simulation calculations of NOx. Ivan was part of the CAFE Africa team. CAFE Africa is an abbreviation for Chemistry of the Atmosphere Field Experiment in Africa, a mission coordinated by the Max Planck Institute for Chemistry. Some of the scientists and support staff included colleagues of the German Aerospace Center, the University of Wuppertal and the University of Heidelberg. Africa is a big continent and there is a lot of action. There is biomass burning from forest fires and savanna fires. There is a lot of dust coming out of Africa and the pollution sources are growing tremendously like in Nigeria and other countries. And we want to know in Café Africa how these pollutants are being mixed and transported by the African monsoon and are then redistributed on a global scale. The scientists use the aircraft HALO, which is equipped to measure many gases and particles and has different inlets to channel the undisturbed air into the measurement instrumentation on board HALO. HALO stands for High Altitude Long Range Research Aircraft. HALO is a Gulfstream 450 aircraft that has been chosen because it can fly very long and high, which is of crucial importance for today's climate research. Furthermore, a lot of changes have been made in the aircraft's construction. For instance, a lot of holes in which air inlets can be screwed. The inlets deliver air samples into the cabin, where analytic devices control the substances. We expect that, especially from the biomass burning, which is on a very large scale in Africa, there's a lot of organics being released into the atmosphere. And these organics can be measured as gases and partly also as particles. So we measure the entire spectrum of gases and particles. So we're operating a set of 20 measurements aboard HALO. And apart from the fact that measurement flights can take up to 10 hours, it's very loud, noisy inside this aircraft. And all these facts, come together to make the complexity of the flight to operator and instrument. While Ivan and three colleagues flew over the Atlantic, he maintained contact with the other scientists on the ground, who received data directly via satellite. This also allowed them to discuss solutions when a device did not operate optimally. During one measurement flight, we encountered highly elevated NOx values beside cumulonimbus clouds and we had this 
NOx coming out from these clouds. And it was pretty interesting because this NOx event was, we were detecting the NOx for roughly one hour. In total, the scientists flew 16 times from cell in the direction of the African coast and out over the Atlantic. The data analysis will take several months. The unique measurement data will help investigate how air pollution, dust from the Sahara and biomass burning emissions affect the atmosphere and our climate. Another thing is certain at this stage. Ivan will also take part in the second part of the mission that will take place in 2020. Then the HALO aircraft will bring the mines-based scientists to South America in the CAFE Brazil campaign. There is little doubt that Ivan will not forget the exciting flights with HALO over Africa.